Hello, Captains. It's the Doctor, and welcome to Star Trek Online. I'm on my character, Ensign Ricky. Uh, now, on September 24th, on what is going to be a very polarizing show, Star Trek Discovery starts. That's right, it's time for Star Trek Discovery to hit the airwaves. Well, almost airwaves, as it will begin on CBS. You'll see the premiere on CBS, but then it will move to CBS All Access, and that means paying a monthly fee for the All Access service so that you can watch the series, something I personally don't agree with, but it is what it is. Now, if you are wondering about my thoughts on the show Star Trek Discovery, uh, you can check out a video in the top right corner that I have linked to where I definitely have put my input and feedback on how I feel about the show there. Now, whether you feel positive or negative about it, or indifferent, it seems Cryptic will be utilizing assets from Star Trek Discovery. And we have that today with the very first introduction of the first Star Trek Discovery stuffs that you can get in this promotion that they're currently running. And that is you can get for free right now without even having to pay. So at least there's that. Very good for that. Is the Star Trek Discovery uniforms. That's right. The uniforms from Star Trek Discovery are available in this game right now now. This is not something that I actually was thinking about. I, you know, all through this whole thought process on Star Trek Discovery, how it'll go, I never actually thought about how it might integrate with Star Trek Online, the game. But now that we have this promotion available where they are giving us Star Trek Discovery uniforms in this game, we now know that Cryptic, Cryptic will definitely use what they can, what CBS will give them access to, will let them use Star Trek Discovery stuff in Star Trek Online. So that means it's canon with the game. If it's in the game, then it's canon with it. So whether you like the show or you don't, I think we are going to start seeing future Star Trek Discovery things in this game. And they're starting with the costumes, so that's a big one. In the future, I would not be surprised if we saw starship, uh, starships, actual Star Trek Discovery starships or ships used in the TV show in this game. After all, they have the JJ Prize, the Kelvin Timeline Enterprise, or Yorktown as they call it, but it's the Constitution, Kelvin Timeline Constitution. They use it in this game from JJ Trek. So if they can bring that into the game, which is completely different altogether, a completely different reboot, then they can definitely bring in Star Trek Discovery stuff, which is a reboot. Let's not, let's not mince our words here. It's, it's different. It's not the prime timeline Star Trek we are all familiar with, even though you will hear that it is prime timeline. No, it is different. And there's reasons for why that's different and why original Star Trek assets cannot be used in Discovery. There's a reason for that, and uh, that is explained in the video that I have posted up in the right-hand corner. So you can check that out to get all that information. But there's a reason why Star Trek Discovery looks different from the Star Trek we're all used to, and that's because it is made by Paramount and Bad Robot, who have a different kind of license than CBS does, and they cannot use the CBS Star Trek assets. So they have to come up with their own looking Star Trek. Everything looks different. The Klingons, the uniforms, we've seen that. Everything looks different. There's the reason for that. So anyway, I digress. What I'm going to look at today is the new uniform. That's all this video is about. Whether you like or dislike the show, um, leave that for the comments. This video is just about looking at the new uniform. So if you go to the Z store and you go to pro promotions, uh, I've already gathered it on my characters, but all you have to do is find it. It's called Discovery Crew Uniform. 
and purchased. You can see I've already claimed it on my characters. Once you have unlocked this option, you can access these costume pieces at any tailor. Crew uniform from the new Star Trek Discovery. Note, purchase of this option unlocks these costumes for every Toss and Starfleet character on an account. So there's a good view of it. You've seen that from the trailers of the show. That's what it looks like. And they have brought it into this game. Now, I will say, I like it. You know, show politics aside, I like the design of this uniform. I can see how it has a progression from the Enterprise uniform. Because check this out. Look at these zipper pockets here. Now, remember, Archer and his uniform, they had pockets. They had a lot of pockets on their uniform. So I can see a progression moving from the uh, Enterprise era, 22nd century Starfleet uniforms, and I can see a progression moving into this one now, because you can see it here in the pants. And then you see a little bit of the future here in the shirt. So it's a good progression from 22nd century Starfleet moving into 23rd century Starfleet, you know, something in between. It's a good, it's a good, I think, I think it's a good design. So, whether you like the show or not, that aside, I think the costume is actually pretty cool looking. Um, the only thing I think is a little overkill on the costume is right here on the boots. The uh, clips they use are Starfleet Insignia clips for the boots. That's a little much. That's a little on the nose. Too much Starfleet Insignia on one costume. I think just a regular um, boot clip would have worked fine there. And then just leave your Insignia up here for the Starfleet logo. Down here, it's just a little too much there with that insignia. But otherwise, um, I actually like this uniform. Like I said, you can see the progression from 22nd century Starfleet moving toward a 23rd century Starfleet uniform. And this does take place before Kirk's time. So you can kind of see that and make that comparison. I like the design um, and whether the show is good or horrible, the design, I think, of this right here is pretty good. So anyway, it's in the game now. And here's what's great about this uniform in the game right now is that it's free. I'm going to read this from the Star Trek Online webpage. It says, in three days, the first new Star Trek television series in 12 years will air on CBS and very soon after on CBS All Access. We're incredibly excited for Star Trek Discovery and all the new and exciting additions it will bring to the Star Trek universe. But before you tune back in to see the new adventures in the Final Frontier, we're offering you a chance to experience that era in Star Trek Online. From Thursday, September 21st until Friday, October 6th, Federation captains on the PC can receive the uniform from the brand new series for free. And don't worry, console captains, it's coming your way soon. Just head to the promotion tabs in the C-Store to pick it right up. And we can't wait to experience the new universe of Discovery with you. So this does lead me to believe there will be more Star Trek Discovery items in Cryptic's Star Trek Online. That at least is good in the sense that you know we're going to be getting some more content in Star Trek Online. And Discovery will open up that door for bringing some more content from another show in Star Trek Online. So whether you like the show or not, or whether it's good or bad, I think we're going to get more Discovery stuff in Star Trek Online. But what I want to demonstrate for you today is what this uniform look like, looks like and how you go and, and achieve it. Um, I've already put it on this character, Ensign Ricky. He's my male uh, engineer. I did a playthrough on him, on him a long time ago. Here's the uniform. I've uh, already equipped it on him. Um, I know it's dark right here, so let's go to a well, a better lit spot and uh, take a look at it. I think if we go into the changing rooms here, there's some better lighting in here. So you can see it, because I understand it's pretty dark. Stand right under this light, and let me turn off the HUD here. There you go, and um, you can get a better look at it. We'll zoom in here. You can see the Starfleet Insignia, and I'll go through all the options, because there are a lot of combat com or com, com badges for this design. Uh, this is the Captain's variant of the uniform. There's actually an Admiral's variant, but I can't really tell the difference between them. One's a little shinier than the other. That's all I can see. But um, if you look close, and you, you can't really see it here because it's real hard to see, I know. But if you look close at the this pattern here, you will notice this pattern is all Starfleet Insignia logos. So again, we've got this overkill of Starfleet Insignia logos. From a distance, you can't tell. 
But when you look up close, it's all that Starfleet, it's, it's this, this, this design here all over the place. So I think this uniform has a bit much of that. It's a bit too much of the Starfleet insignia. But um, it still looks good. It still looks decent. From a distance, it looks far away. Um, you've got stripes here, kind of padded elbows here, coming around here. Your rank... I don't know where your rank is indicated. It may be on the maybe pips, but I need to. I might not have turned that on. I need to see if there's that option. And then there's the boots down here, with the logos on them down here. We'll take a look inside the editor too, because I'll show you how to do it. Oh, here we go. Here's some better lighting right here. There you go. So that's a good idea of what it looks like right there. So again, this is the captain's variant. We'll put on the admiral's variant and see what the difference is. But you got the zipper pockets down here, you've got this here, you've got these kind of stripes here, and then you've got all the little uh, Starfleet insignias here, and then the boots. So that's the basic uniform. Let's go into the tailor, and we'll look at it closer, and I'll show you the options. Uh, let's bring back up the HUD, because that I will need. <laughs> uh, let's go to Customize Clothing. So here's what you need to select in order to do it. You need to go to Uniform, and you need to make sure Uniform Jacket Loose is selected. Uniform Jacket Loose. And then you'll find it under the upper category. If you come down somewhere on your thingy, it will be called Discovery. So yeah, actually I've got three variants here. I thought it was only two, but now I see there's three, huh? And I don't really see the difference between them. But you've got Discovery Admiral, Discovery Captain, and Discovery Lieutenant. But as I look across them, I don't see a difference except one looks shinier than the other. Captain is shinier than Admiral. That's it. I don't really see the difference. Maybe, maybe on the arms, like this area here. Where is it? See, the pattern of the um, striping is a little different. And that's it. Look, the admiral goes that way, and the captain goes that way. That way, that way, that way, that way. That's it. I don't really see much difference there. And lieutenant just changes that part up there. So there's really not a lot of difference unless my color scheme is blocking, but I don't think so. I'm not really sure. Oh, okay, never mind. I see it adds an extra color option. But what does it colorize? Nothing. What does this change? This changes nothing. Yeah, so again, I'm not really sure what the difference is. This is the Admiral variant, but this color option, look, it does nothing. This color option changes that. So you could go silver, I guess. This changes that. That kind of looks cool. And then this changes that part of it. I think that's more of the color in the series. Actually, that's a little too blue. It's like a darker blue. It's kind of like that in the picture, actually. Almost like that, maybe. That's a little more purple than it is. I'm trying to match it to the picture. It's, it's very blue. It's a very, very bold blue, but it's not that blue, and it's not that purple. But anyway, you kind of get the idea of how you can change the colors on here. And that's the Admiral one, and then the other one was the Lieutenant one. So let's go to Discovery Lieutenant. Again, that does nothing. Yeah, so I'm not really sure what the difference is between these. I'm really not finding a lot of difference. So I'm just going to go with the Discovery Captain on my character. That's pretty good. And the gold. I could change it to silver or gold. 
but you know I kind of like it with the gold color uh, then you have the badges look at all these badges you get look at this you've got discovery captain command operations science discovery commander command operations science discovery so I guess the badge tells you what rank you are is that how they're doing it because look the badge goes all the way down to lieutenant I don't see an ensign but I do see a lieutenant so you have yeah look okay as I'm hovering over these look at the uh, badge itself see the pips on it one two three four so that's captain and as I go through the these here's lieutenant see now it's got two pips on the collar I'm not on the collar on the com badge which is not a com badge because remember they don't have that yet in the 23rd century it's actually just a logo which now also indicates your rank so lieutenant and you've got science operation you got operations or science and then lieutenant junior science lieutenant junior operations lieutenant junior command lieutenant commander science so I guess your lieutenant is your new ensign no because ensign would just be one pip wouldn't it so there must be something below lieutenant so it's got to be ensign they just don't have an ensign on here then you've got lieutenant commander science lieutenant commander operations lieutenant commander command then you've got commander which is just three commander operations command and then captain which is four you got science operations or command and that's all they have here so that's what you have so I guess it is your com badge which determines where your rank is so discovery captain command for example or operations for my character since he's an engineer I could do that and that would be his that would be his badge and then you can make it you can make it gold different variants of gold I kinda like that look you got silver I like that look too that's not bad that's not bad so again it's not a communicator it's just a badge in this version and I guess there's no collar pips it's just all on the badge um, yeah there's no collar nothing for the collar at all nothing else that says rank here so it's all on the badge um, I don't think there would be like any arm attachments or anything like that that pretty much takes care of the of the front or of the uh, shirt part of it and then for the pants what you need to do for the pants is go to pants tight pants tight and then what you're looking for there is tight discovery and that's the pants tight discovery and then on that you can change the pad you can make that silver of course you would probably want it to match the shirt so whatever color you use on the shirt you want to match it on the pants as well so it's uniform and you can change the color of the pants of course probably again you want to match that with the shirt too probably and then the boots is going to be boot discovery boot discovery and then there you can change the boot color um, but of course black is what they have in the picture um, you can change the footing around the edge at the bottom you can add color to it or not a little bit of color you can change that little insert there you can change the insignia, insignia belt thingy clips themselves as well. You could change them to silver, for example, to match your com badge. Or a dark silver. I like that better. And then there you go. You pretty much have the outfit done. You purchase it and you equip it or turn it on. And you've got it done outfit established go back into the light and I really didn't make any changes here and uh, that's the uniform that's what it looks like 
Let's go see what it looks like on a female. I haven't yet done a female character with this uniform, so let's switch over to that. Let's do um, change character. And I already got a female, I know, that's ready to set up on this. This one I use for testing things. Uh, this character I use, I have never done a playthrough on her. I kind of use her just to um, test things out. She's my testing character. Don't really, I have, don't really keep her up to date on anything, but she, I'm going to use her right now to test the uh, uniform. We're going to put the female uniform on her. So let's go to the tailor. Let's uh, just uniform and let's create a new one. And then we want to go to uniform and what we want to do is jacket loose. Make sure we're jacket loose and then we, sh we should have it. Yeah, discovery, admiral, captain, and lieutenant. Oh, when I click lieutenant, she disappears. So there's a bug. Yay, bug. So be wary of that. Female, it may disappear on discovery lieutenant. Is with that color anyway. Discovery Admiral again between Admiral and Captain one is shinier than the other. Admiral shinier than Captain? I mean I don't see a difference here. I just really don't know what the difference is. Captain so there's the basic shirt. I actually kinda like that color <laughs> you know. What if I just kept that color because I like it. And what if I use like silver on her? That could look cool. And then match the silver here. Here we go. That's matched. Pretty close. That looks kind of cool. And then I could go badge. You know, I don't know. I think she's science. And she's captain or admiral or whatever. Discovery admiral. There's what the admiral one looks like. We didn't look at that. That's a cool badge for the admiral. Let's put like captain on her though captain science there we go that looks cool and then we could we could do reverse and make the uh, com badge gold on this on this character there we go that looks cool I like that color gold looks metal it looks metal now all we have to do is come down in the pants and do pants tight no loose yeah no tight pants tight and then tight discovery and there's the pants you know, when you do is match the color that I'm using here, which I have no idea what it is. It is that one. Ooh, that looks kind of cool, actually. I like it. It goes good with her hair. Let's do um, the silver to match. That's real nice. And then feet, we do discovery, black boots. Silver, I think, because we used gold on the other one. I'm just kind of reversing what I did on the other side, on the other one. That's kind of good. No, I don't like that. Maybe just that and then gold there yeah that looks cool there we go yeah that's a unique color too I just made that up or actually it was just already there when I picked it <laughs> but I like it okay and I guess there's no skirt because if it's pants tight there's gonna be no skirt I don't know if there is a skirt variant of this there's tight basic or tight discovery I mean that's what it is but if we use like if we use Skirts. Is there a skirt for it? 23 century short angle. No. So there is no skirt for this uniform. Just pants. So for the women, do not get skirts. And under pants loose, I don't think there's anything either. No, I see nothing discovery under here. So it's just pants tight on both female and male. Okay, so let's purchase. Exits. Let's uh, put it on. Oh, did I not name it? Oh well. There we go. There it is. 
turn off the HUD. I said turn off the HUD. And uh, there you go. So it looks like on that character, I think it looks pretty good. It's not the worst outfit or costume I've ever seen, that's for sure. I might change that color. Not quite sure about it. But, even if I didn't, I think it could work. Well, that's the Star Trek Discovery uniform, everyone. We've looked at the male version and we've looked at the female version. Uh, I've shown you how to use it, how to activate it. Um, and um, that's pretty much it. If you like or dislike this uniform, uh, you know, that that completely... Try to think of it... Let me, let me put it this way. Try to think of it like this. The show is going to be polarizing. All right, we know this. I know this. There's going to be people that love it. There's going to be people that hate it. There's going to be people that are indifferent to it. I'm really curious how new people who really aren't into Star Trek but are looking for a new TV show, how they're going to take to it. If people are even going to like it for being a TV show, period. Fans, they're going to be harder on it. Star Trek fans are obviously going to be harder on it because they want to see what they know. And it is not what they know. Um, those that like J.J. Trek, you probably are going to like this a lot. Those that are looking for a reboot, you're going to like it. Those looking for a continuation of the Star Trek we know and love, you might not like it because it's not that. I don't know. It's going to be polarizing, right? It's, 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 I'm re I mean, I'm really, really curious how it's going to turn out. I mean, is it going to get canceled? Is it going to stay the course? I don't know. But at any rate, Cryptic is bringing Star Trek Discovery stuff into Star Trek Online, starting right here with the Discovery uniform. I like the looks of the uniform. I can separate the show from some of the parts to it. I like the uniform. Even if the show is completely bonkers, I still like the uniform. Okay? Is it is it what it should be if it were a continuation of Primeline Trek? Maybe not. Maybe it should be a little different, especially in the shirt part of it. But I can see how the pants progress from the 22nd century Starfleet and the 23rd century. I really like the pants part of it. The pockets, it looks like a uh, more modern 22nd century pants part of it. The shirt part is leaning more towards the Starfleet we know, but the pattern of the insignias on it, yeah, that's a little dumb. And then the insignias on the boots with, that are supposed to be like clips or something, that's a little dumb too. But otherwise, I can see how this would be a nice progression from a 22nd century Starfleet uniform to a 23rd century before the original series picks up with the uniforms they're using on Kirk's Enterprise. Although, really, they should be using, what, the cage uniforms? Is that what, what people are saying? They should be using the cage uniforms uh, in this Star Trek? I don't know. Maybe. Maybe not. Uh, I guess there can be some overlap. Why not? You know, there's always been some kind of overlap. Remember when um, Cisco started wearing the new jacket on DS9? And then, you know, later on, Picard started wearing it, too. And there was overlaps of some of the DS9 uniforms and the TNG era uniforms. There's been overlaps in Starfleet before. I can see uniform overlaps happening. So that shouldn't be too much of a big deal. But anyway, I'm just kind of babbling now. Um, I guess we are going to see more Discovery st stuff in Star Trek Online. Again, I would not be surprised to see some uh, starships in the future. You never know. Anyway, drop a comment below and let me know what you think of this uniform, specifically, female or male, uh, in, in Star Trek Online or in Star Trek in general. Let me know what you think of the uniform and let me know what you think of Cryptic possibly bringing in more Star Trek Discovery stuff. Would you like to see that in the game or would you like to see them not pull in as much stuff from the show as they could? Because they could either pull in a lot of stuff or they could pull in just a few things, you know, like a uniform, maybe some weapons, something like that. Let me know what you think about all that. 
very interested. And uh, yeah, the 24th. All I can say is watch Star Trek Discovery yourself and determine if you like it yourself. I can't tell you if it's good or bad for you. Only you can. I can tell you if I like it or not, but that's just my opinion. So watch it on the 24th. It should be on CBS regular TV so you won't have to pay for it. And just let's see what happens. Let's watch it and let's give it a chance because I always do give shows a chance and uh, let's just see where it goes from there. Uh, thank you all for watching. Stay tuned for the next one.